All right, hello out there, ladies and gentlemen. You're on the air, and welcome to Merrill Fay Arena in Laconia, New Hampshire, where we have some Granite State League action for you here today between the Lakes Region Lakers, uh, representing Laconia, of course, and the Manchester Flames. Flames are being red. Uh, they are the visiting team, and they'll be coming from right to left when the puck drops. Uh, the Lakers will be in white with the black and red trim. They, of course, are the home team, and they are coming from left to right. Uh, Tristan Kerr in goal for the Flames, as always. Uh, starting lineup for Manchester includes Dermody, Cox, Maurice, uh, Murphy, and Pelletier. Or perched right above center ice for this matchup. Should be a good one. Flames are going to go back in their huddle here for a second. Uh, I don't know if they're testing on a puck or the ice. Manager is a 9-3-2 record overall. They're 1-1 one one in Granite State, having defeated Concord last Sunday with a score of 4-3. That game was not videotaped, by the way. Um, on that same day, the Lakes Region also played Concord. They lost... Or sorry, Manchester beat Concord 5-2 that morning in Everett, and then Lakes Region played Concord the, the later that afternoon and beat them 4-3, or lost 4-3. Lost having trouble with my decoding my notes here. Not sure what the delay is here, but I'll continue giving you the pre-game numbers here. That was the second of the game of the doubleheader for Lake State. The first game was a 7-0 loss to Reading. Their record... It's five, uh, no, they're 0-7-1. Oh, big difference there in Granite State League play. That's their only league they play, and of course, Manchester plays in EHF as well. They're 5-1-2 in EHF, 1-1 uh, in Granite State. Their loss uh, was to the Granite State Wild. I think the problem might be the clock right now. So teams are back to warming up here on our right. Uh, it's one of my personal policies that once I start the broadcast and have really gotten into stuff, I'm not going to end it uh, and start over again. So if uh, this continues for a while, well, if this continues for a while, I'll end it. Uh, but uh, for now, uh, teams just warming up. Uh, Manchester plays tomorrow. Uh, at home at the EHF game against North Stars Hockey Club. North Stars is second place in EHF, Manchester in fourth. Uh, clock came alive there for just a second. Now it's back to dead again. Uh, number one in the EHF, North Shore Shamrock. Number two is the North Star Hockey Club. Greater Boston, number three, and then these Flames are number four. Of course, we're playing in Granite State League play, though, today. Uh, tomorrow will be the AHF matchup. Should be a good one, though. Uh, looking forward to that between numbers two and four. There we go. Clock's alive. Looking a little disjuncted, or disjunct, disconformed, disjunctive. I'm sure disjunctive's the right word there. You, you get the gist of what I'm saying. It's doesn't look proper, and it's dead again. <laughs> Start time for this game, 4 o'clock uh, at Merrill Fay. Uh, the last game ran a little late between the uh, Concord Bantams, possibly, and the uh, Lake State Bantams. Uh, Lake State won that game 4-1, to one, very physical game. And... That game ran a little late. Now we have clock issues uh, here from historical Mar historic Merrill Fay Arena celebrating their 20th, yes, 20th anniversary this year. Opened up in 1997. Uh, and we wait. Manchester going back to their huddle, and maybe we can get started this time. Uh, a 
Ooh, situated right above the benches here. It's nice to have a broadcast booth. Uh, can't take that for granted during when filming youth hockey because you don't always get it. Broadcast booth. Uh, Lakers look like they're ready to play. Uh, Hawk still remains black. Uh, we're getting word that the horn doesn't work, so there's going to need to be a whistle. Teams are set up at center ice now. So one of the uh, dads, or not one of the dads, but one of the coaches who's now manning the penalty box for Lake State is going to do the whistle from his mouth. So that's going to be the end of the period. The contention by one of the coaches was, well, what do you need a whistle for? Or what do you need a horn for? It's interesting. Yeah. Referee's just got to be real vigilant. Uh, this pairing has already worked a game today. A game prior, as I mentioned. Uh, Puck is down with quite a few complications run away, uh, and there won't be any clock, uh, so we're gonna have to use a stopwatch. Uh, that's no way to play a hockey game as we have an offside here, but play we shall. Interestingly enough, everything was working fine in the warm-ups, and then as soon as we got ready to puck the, got ready for the puck to drop, everything shut down. Murphy plays it in the corner. Up to Cox, and he'll move it in the center dangerously. Couldn't clear the zone. Now Sam Maurice will take it on the right side. Dermody up to center ice. Maurice couldn't move it to him. They battle away at the red line, and Maurice comes free with it. Uh, this couldn't make his entry there on the far side as it comes back for Liam Murphy. Murphy will spin back around, look around, and do another spin. Murphy pirouetting before moving it up right side for Sam Maurice and across the line. Trying to drag his way through, could not. Maurice again. He'll move to the middle of the ice. Maurice now near side, covered well. He'll go into the corner before he's taken down. And there's going to be a penalty upcoming here on late stage. Going to be a tripping call against the Lakers real early here. I'd love to give you the time. I really should start my own stopwatch. So if you're wondering how much time is left in the period, don't look at me. It's, it's one of the things that's so frustrating. If you're listening to a game on radio uh, and... He's yelling at the announcer, what time is it? What time is it? And it's pretty much how we're going to feel the whole game, probably. Yeah. I'm feeling that way, too. It's okay. Not just you. Off that face-off, Riccio. Power play begins now for Manchester. This is Brayton Kiley now in the circle with a shot. And Walker's save was made on behind now. Flames will get set up. That pass back for Hemingway. He just kept it in. Back into the corner. This is Fysik now. Kiley's over on the far side. Might have been out of our frame there as this puck is cleared all the way down by Lake State. We're going to have an icing call here. A wide sheet of ice here at Merrill Fay. Uh, I don't think Kylie was out of frame. I can never tell. I don't often look at the, uh, the camera frame and see what's going on in there. Another face-off here on the far side, and it looks like a tie-up. Uh, Got caught up between the referee's legs before Lake State comes through to the corner. The man fed down, now it's Fysik. He'll come around the cage, back to the line. This is Hemingway trying to get a handle on it. He did and just sent it back in deep for Kylie. Drew Hemingway usually distinguished by his long flowing hair. He got a haircut though. Uh, now I don't have an easy identification for him. This shot got tipped through traffic into the corner. Came from Hemingway, I believe, at the line. Might have been Gromwald. Late State's going to get this puck out, and they have some more here. Taylor across the blue line. Uh, nothing more than that, and Fysik will cycle the other way. We're back to five-on-five five action here as the Flames come in. Fysik outside, shooting right on. Save is made. Puck clear to the half wall, but not out. Charging in from the benches. Pelletier couldn't hold the puck in at the line. And it'll come out to neutral territory, where Murphy will spin back with it again. This is Liam Murphy. He'll take it himself before looking over there. Braden Kiley will come in for Manchester. Kiley still going. Centered it back in front. Young with a shot. Save is made. Goaltender didn't know where the puck was. It's right underneath his body. And the whistle will blow. So we'll have a face-off upcoming. Man. It, I just realized now what a nice color time filler I use the game clock for. we got to find a, come up with another material now to use. 
Caleb Young's on this face-off. He won it. Looks to go back to the line. He was looking for Murphy. That puck tipped out to center, though. Pelletier will go back for it. Uh, looking to get a handle on He's won it to the boards. Kindly was there. That was Baker. Uh, on the red line, this is Caleb Young pushing it in. Uh, take it back by Lake State. They can't clear it, though. Caught up in Baker's skates. He'll dump it even deeper than it is. Flames can't decide who's going to go for it. It's Folsom now in behind. Uh, Caleb Young now. Looks to go back for Folsom. He wasn't there. Uh, where he was expected to be by Young. I guess that's what I'm... Yes, that's what I was going for there. Nonetheless, Lake State gets his puck out off the stick of Murphy. In our blind spot right below us, this is Murphy. He'll spin back towards the wall and then back towards the middle. This is Murphy right up the middle for Caleb Young. It's a line rush for the Flames. They had a three-on-two there for only a second. Young lost a handle on the puck and was forced to take, to the, take it to the boards. Murphy's got to get off the ice. They were calling for him. This is Young now stopping back. Murphy snaps out of his chance and go trance and goes to the bench. Uh, <laughs> it's a really quiet rink right now. It just feels that way. You can you can you can there's dead air from time to time in rinks and you can feel it. The prior game was not quiet at all, and this one seems to have a softer tone to it as Maurice sends it up the boards. Dermody was there first. He's got Cox going to that. Dermody looking for Cox. The pass was blocked aside and back into the corner. This is Dermody in low. Sam Maurice now spinning it to the cage. Stick to side. Goes to the line for Hemingway. He'll shoot it on around the boards. Sam Maurice is in back of the goal. He'll try to corral that bouncing puck. Uh, Maurice uh, just threw it to the open space. No one was there for the Flames and Lake State. Or I'm saying Lake State. <laughs> the Lakers will come out. Lake State Lakers. Great college hockey program. Uh, won a couple of national championships. That's what I'm getting them confused with. Uh, I'm sure the Lakers would love to be compared to Lake State. Uh, Lakers were real good in the 90s. They won, I believe, one in 92, and then one in 94, if I remember correctly, and made it to the finals in 93. That's going off knowledge it's up here so if as far as you call I'm sorry I'm, I'm spreading false news so if you hear me refer to them in Lake State for the next couple of minutes if not the rest of the game just know it's the Lake Region Lakers here's Kylie coming in across the line for the Flames Kylie Rachel was going in the net and he fell down that puck was coming right for him and he Ended up on his stomach in the slot. Uh, Grumwald will shoot this puck in. Lakers pushed it deeper there around the board. Flames are up on the forecheck now. Fysik picking this puck up. He'll shoot it to the corner. Riccio and Fysik are over to fetch it on the half wall. Riccio was up there first, actually. Uh, again, pushed back in, in that far corner. We see what happened there last time. Did not work for the Lakers. And they can't get it out this time either. In deep, that's Kylie. He took a stick to the midsection and was hooked. That's what this penalty's for. They're going to call it a hold, but I saw a stick, so we'll go with that. Uh, and with uh, insert time here, amount of minutes left to go in the first period. It is the first period, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's the first period. The Flames went to their second power play of the game. 0-4-1. God, I hope I don't forget the score. <laughs> That'd be a mistake I'd seem to make, I think. Flames can't hold this puck in on the power play, and it's just shot all the way back down. Not going to make it for icing. Or if he didn't want to touch it just in case. He'll fire it far side for Pelletier. Couldn't pick up that pass. Uh, Young taking hard into his own boards. Back down low as Murphy has this puck now. Looking for Brian Folsom left side. Uh, pass went under his stick and out to center ice. Uh, back in comes Lake State. Uh, but C.J. Fysik was calling for an offside, I believe, there. No, it came. Banked off the board, back out to center ice. Flames will chase it here. Folsom will just dump it in. It goes right on goal, stick to the corner. Baker will pick up this puck first. Center right in front for Folsom. This is Gronwell now. He's got space. He scores! Elliot Gronwell coming in from the point. I believe that was a rebound he picked up all the way out there near the face-off circle. Fires at home. Power play goal for Manchester. Uh, and they lead one to nothing. And the clock's alive. Uh, not fully. 
It does say there's 45 seconds left in the penalty, though. Better than nothing. This is Sam Maurice off the center ice faceoff. He'll move in. Uh, Maurice went down a little awkwardly there on the half board, shaking his hand now. Speed up the right side. Here's Taylor for Lakers. For the Lakers. Uh, forced to get that by Gronwald. Uh, his right hand took him into the boards there. Looked like it could have been the Heisman kind of. Heisman F. Cold. There by Gromwald. Dumped in by Lake State. Uh, Flames are up there on the puck first. Hemingway uh, got in the collision down low and lost the puck. Centered back in front. Swing and a miss in the slot. And the Flames will take this puck away, but not out. Uh, Hemingway now on the second wave. And he'll get it across his own blue line before moving it up for Cox. Uh, this is Cox. Hemingway jumping up in the rush now. Cox will go to the point and then to the half wall before taking a long shot on. Save was made. The rebound is there. Maurice had a backhand shot. Caught the goaltender in the mask. He made the save. Rebound right in front of the gate there. Now it's Maurice walking out with it. Maurice looking for some space. Pulled some moves and lost the puck. And it'll come back in the flame zone. Norm up for icing. And there we go. Play is whistle dead, and it'll come all the way back. Face off going to come on the right side. Offensive zone draw for the Flames. Fysik draws in, and he won the draw. Took it right to the net with a shot, and it was padded out by the goaltender with the right pad. But still there in the corner now. Riccio looking around for Kylie. He was not there. Lakers can't get the puck out. Held in by Kylie on the half boards. Now it's Fysik down low. Riccio is there too. I'm going to pull this puck out in front. Riccio taken down. Still in behind the cage there. All tied up. And it's the Lakers that will come free with it. I might just have to call him Lake State. Because every time I say Lakers, I'm on the verge of calling him Lake State. On the verge. This is Kylie picking it up in neutral territory, moving in. Got knocked down and tried to swing it back in front there. We might have another penalty upcoming. That play was whistled dead. And yes, we will. There's a timer on a phone off to my left. I don't know if that's accurate. Down to the Lakers bench. By the way, it will be another Flames power play that went for two with the Gromwell goal. Uh, it says there's three, oh, three minutes left to go. As this puck centered, right? In the great A area. No flame was there. Now it's Hemingway stepping off the wall. Hemingway shooting right on. Rebound was there for Folsom. Just couldn't get a stick on it in front. And out to center it'll come. Elliot Cromwell will spin back. The big Flames defenseman maneuvering in left side. He's got one goal tonight. Cromwell dragged down and another penalty coming. Lakers in penalty trouble here early. Hemingway on the puck in the corner. The def two Flames defensemen were down in below the goal line there. Cromwell and Hemingway both. Cromwell coming out in front now. Flames maintain possession of the puck as Cromwell wrapped it in front. Uh, saves what's made. Uh, and if you excuse me for a second here, 224 remaining, and it'll be a five on three for the Flames. But if you'll excuse me for a second, I do have to cough. I've had a cold for the past week. Plus, that was the reason why I didn't do the game last Sunday in Concord. Still feeling a bit under the weather, almost a week later. There's Maurice centering in front. Dermody one timer, and it goes in. It was an off-speed shot by Harry Germany at the top of the circles. Uh, he didn't get all of it. The goaltender reacted like he was going to be 100 miles an hour and moved way too fast to his left. The puck went to the right, and the Flames lead 2 to nothing here with 2.01 to go here in period one. Off that face off at center. Lakers have had almost nil time in the offensive zone. They don't have any shots, and I'm certain of that. Murphy behind his own cage. Root up the wall for Cox. Dermody's there too. Pelletier coming all the way across the ice to get in the mix. He was the one who ended up with the puck. 
Pelletier will go on around. The right clear, Sammy Maurice will got it up to center ice looking for Germany. Slapped right back to the line and the Lakers are in. Murphy guarding his man to the outside there as it spun back in deep. Lakers on it first down behind the net. Uh, remember, it's a five on four, so Lakers are just killing time. Now looking for any offense. There's 30 seconds left in that penalty, according to the scoreboard. As Maurice coming the other way. Shot it off the outside of the net. Uh, there's Cox now. He threw it off the back of the net. Back of the cage there. Seems like Powers going out all around the building. The warming room upstairs. The lights just shut out to our left as we have a close little face off here. So not much working right now here in Merrill Bay Arena. Really nice ring here in Laconia. I like it. Uh, so Coach CJ Feisick doesn't know how much time's left in each period. It's 103. I can see that to my left. Uh, Rumble now. He's got space. Hard shot right on. Glove save is made. But that is difficult for a coach to manage a game and coach a game with. That much time left. I have a minute of three on the clock to my left. They're saying a minute of 30 now on our Flames bench to the right. Yeah. Oh, it's confusion. Rommel, another shot. No traffic in front. And it was up and up high on the goaltender. I mean, the easy glove stop, and we'll have another face off here. There are 12 minute periods, I believe, in Granite State play, if I remember correctly. No confirmation, of course, because we don't have the clock. It's a big part of play, and it, it's not something you realize is a big part of play until you don't have it. Lakers will get this puck out. Maybe some more here up in the offensive blue line, but Hemingway stole it and whacked it right back up in the middle of the ice. So, nearly a turnover there at the blue line. Now it's up for Termo on the right side. Grumwald upended him. Still inside that line. Now Taylor. Drew Hemingway. Up to the half wall. That puck shot towards the net. Knocked off by Fisick. Uh, 30 seconds left to play. Here is Kylie. will take it and get it out. Chance for the Flames here for a two-on-one. Fisick on the right with Riccio on the left. Fisick looking for Riccio. And the pass was blocked. Great defensive play there. But the Laker defense been coming over to cut off that pass. Uh, and we got a one-on-two the other way. Game opening up a bit. Backhand shot. That's a first shot on that. For the Lakers. And it's snagged and held by... Tristan Kerr. 12 seconds remaining in the period. That's all I'm hearing on my left and my right is shouts of this amount of time, this amount of time, this amount of time. At the line. Off the crossbar. The second shot of the game, the second even trigger pull of the game for the Lakers. Nearly beat Tristan Kerr there. He didn't look like he saw it at all. And that's the end of the period there. That whistle. Interesting stuff here from Arafay. Without a clock, the Flames lead it 2 to nothing.